Hi, this is Jeanette Larson. Over the last 15 years, I've worked with people in therapy to help them create solutions to the problems that they have in their lives. The problem has been, most of the time, therapy is not what these people are needing. They're not mentally ill. They just need skills so that they can create the kind of life that they want to have. Therapy didn't supply that. And so I created Growth Unlimited. Growth Unlimited has a proprietary practice that helps people create the kind of life that they desire. That's what this presentation is all about. Hi, I'm Jeanette with Growth Unlimited. We've been talking about the roles that people play in trying to deal with the crisis situations that they face in their everyday life. And this, in this video, we're going to talk about the, it's the fifth uh, role that I have seen people play in the time that I've been working with people and helping them take control of their lives. And this role is the role that I call the fantasizer. Now, the fantasizer is somebody who is trying very, very difficult to wrap their understanding around what's happening to them. Uh, they have a tendency to spend a lot of time thinking about if only or what if or it should be like this instead. The drawback is when you're saying this shouldn't happen like this, it sh if things were right in the world it should be this way, you're identifying what you'd like to see happen but once again you're not really involving yourself. You're doing lots of talk, and the thing that I've noticed is people who fantasize a lot have all sorts of ideas, but they never have anything come to fruition. And that says to, because they don't do anything to actually make it happen. Now, that says to me that this is not the best, best role that they should be playing when they're feeling they're in a crisis. In order to show true resilience and to take action that will help you take your power back, you not only have to recognize that it shouldn't be that way, or, uh, and you also have to actually decide what it is that needs to be done and then do it. Uh, because that's the only way to elicit real change. Now, there is one other kind of fantasizer. This is the fantasizer that uh, spends a whole lot of time uh, dreaming about uh, what in their life is going right so they don't have to deal with the stuff that's not going right. This is the person that says, well, you know, things are really bad right now, but at least my husband loves me. Or things are really going bad right now. At least I have a job. You know, it's important to recognize the blessings that you have. But when you use recognizing the blessings that are in your life to divert your attention from paying attention to what needs to happen in order to resolve the issues that you're facing in your life, you're giving up your power. You are giving up the ability to make the changes that need to happen. And you are choosing to settle for the status quo and trying to make it okay that things that are not all right are there. So a more effective way of dealing with this particular kind of situation would be to say, yes, I am very fortunate that it isn't as bad for me as it might be for somebody else that is bad enough. I'm not willing to settle for what this is. So while I recognize that my husband loves me, and that I have a job and I'm fortunate in both of those respects, I am still going to figure out what it is that needs to be done to resolve this issue so that I don't have to deal with it either. That's the way to combat being a fantasizer and the negative aspects of being a fantasizer. If you like this video and you found it useful, please share it and subscribe. And be sure when you subscribe to click on the notification bell so that you receive updates on new videos that we put out. Thanks for joining me tonight. Have a great day and I'll talk to you next right now.
Hi everyone. You know, we have an interesting time going on in our lives right now. 2020 was a horrible year for many, many of us. And all we wanted was something better coming forward. Now we're into 2021 and we're halfway through the second month of the year. People are beginning to shift a little bit, it appears. They're beginning to look like they want to take control of things a little bit better. I'm feeling a little bit more hopeful, but a lot of people are feeling kind of lost and not sure exactly what it is that they need to do with the new things that we're facing that look like they're going to be permanent, at least for the time being, and uh, just kind of navigating through the whole process. People are feeling boxed in. Every day at Growth Unlimited, we get phone calls from people who are looking for a way to get out of their box. And so Growth Unlimited has, is announcing a brand new program designed specifically to help you learn the skills and brush up on the things that you need to do to be able to take control of your life and get out of that box. We are, have, we are announcing a webinar, a free webinar, where we're going to explain this whole program to you and help you decide whether it's something that is going to work to make your life the way you want it to be. I have put the link to register for that free webinar and it's free. It's an hour long presentation with a question and answer period after it that will allow you to check things out and decide whether this is something that you want to do with your life. Remember, it's your life. Have it your way. We can help you take control. So register for the webinar now, and uh, I will see you over on the other side. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.